There it is. There it is. What up, what up? We're here with the baseball bat bros. And today, folks, you're gonna see some BB Core baseball bats you have never seen in your life because we are gonna find out what is the best bat you can get for $99 or less. Let's get it. All right, folks, today we have 10 bats that I bought for $100 or less here. We're gonna go through them all and let you know if you only have 100 bucks and you are balling on a budget, what is the best possible BB core you can get your hands on. We're gonna do some on-field hitting and some exit velo testing, but first, let's go through our bats today. A lot of these I haven't even seen before. Here's one of them, the Rawlings Impact one piece alloy got it on their website for 99 bucks next up last year's mizuno b20 hot metal guys you know this one the vapor has done some damage in the past the louisville slugger vapor bought this off their website for a hundred dollars next up this is an older one the axe origin got this one on just bats website for a hundred bucks the ssk clone i bet you guys have never freaking seen this one looks like a wood bat honestly pretty sick looking got this off of walmart.com for $49.99. Next up, we got the Easton Fuse Balance from 2019. Not to be confused with the Fuse 360 XL, which a lot of college guys swing. I don't think nearly as many guys swing the Balance Fuse version. This one I got off of Just Bats website for 99 bucks. I do think since then, by the time this video comes out, I do not think this bat will be $100 anymore. So a small star up by this one because I don't know if it's still a hundred bucks. Next up, the true cheapo Easton bat. Fellas, I bought this bat, the Easton Speed from Big Five Sporting Goods for 75 bucks. That was a very cheap one. The only BB core available at Big Five Sporting Goods, might I add. Next, this is probably one of the more popular ones. These next two are the Marucci F5 BB core. Got it off their website for 99 bucks. Next up, probably the most popular out of all of these, one that actually gets used quite a bit, the String King Metal Pro, now it's only $100. Used to be $150, but now it's only $100. And then lastly, maybe the bat I've heard least about on this entire list, the M-Powered 777 Power. I got this new one wrapper for $60 on eBay. So folks, we're gonna hit all of these. I don't know much about them, going into this pretty dang blind, but out of these 10 $100 bats, what is the best one? And, and the king of this, the best one here, hey, maybe we move it on to some other tournament and see how it hangs with the big boys, but let's get it. All right, folks, so the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna hit all these bats on field, really kind of evaluate sweet spot and feel and swing weight. I'm gonna rank these bats one through 10 and then score them. First place is gonna get 10 points, last place is gonna get one point right, and then we're gonna do exit velo testing and do the same idea. At the end, we'll add it all up crown ourselves a budget bat champion. So starting out with the Easton Speed, 75 bucks. Let's go. Woo! All right, a little one hop to start the day. And by the way, if you guys don't know, one piece alloys hit the ball far. Typically they just can be really heavy and have small sweet spots. So just because these are $99 bats does not mean I'm not gonna hit nukes. I, I'm gonna hit nukes today, boys. These bats can still hit the ball far, guaranteed. Okay. Decent, decent. Dude, it, like every swing hurts your hands and it's so heavy. It's so freaking unloaded. Oh, come on. Go ball. Oh, see ya. The barrel does not feel very good, bro. That barrel is rigid. All right, dude, that is so heavy though. Okay, for 75 bucks, that doesn't suck, but dude, it, this is as heavy as some of the heaviest bats out there. So by default, this is in first place to start. All right, next up, the Walmart special, the $50 SSK clone. It look, probably the coolest looking bat here. Uh, all, a lot of those bats are pretty ugly, to be honest. Wood bat, dude, if you tar this up, that would look very clean. Okay, hoping for a little bit lighter of a bat here. That was a log. Oh my God. God, it's so heavy. Oh, these both feel like 33-32s. <laughs> yeah, it's they're gonna have juice though, just their logs, but they're gonna have tons of power probably. Come on, clone, what you got, boy? Come on. All right, short hop, that's pretty good. I mean, they're both, <laughs> they almost feel like the same bat so far. Just logs <laughs> that always kind of sting your hands. Oh, that's right. Get out, Oh, 
that was impressive, bro. That's one of the bats where you have to catch it so far out in front. All right, so ranking this against the speed, they felt the exact same. This just had a more forgiving, bigger barrel. So sorry, speed, you're in last place. SSK moves to number one. Let's move on. All right, next up, the Marucci F5. I think this retailed for like 130 or so, maybe 150. Now it's just 100 bucks. I think I got this off of just Bat's website actually for 100 bucks. So it has, that's like just the Cat 8 grip. It just totally has the Cat 8 grip on it. Big freaking squishy grip. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's light. It's actually lightweight. Oh yeah, buddy. That stung my hands. But this is actually a normal swing weight. Uh -huh. JT, do you remember that one time where I said the sweet spot is the size of a grape when we swung <laughs> the F5? Sweet spot's the size of a grape. I think that's still the case. Size I just hit a home run and that hurt. <laughs> you hit it right on the grape. Hurt. Oh, wow. Come on, ball. Ah, not quite. One hop. Oh. Wow! Later, ball! Ooh. Oh, dude, that's oh, such an underwhelming home run. That barely went out. <laughs> so it, it's a little bit lighter, probably a little bit less juice, but I can actually get barrel. It's kind of nice. Did he? I got good barrel on that. And. That's the first one that didn't sting. All right, so the power was enough and the swing weight was just actually normal. Those are two of the heaviest BB cores I've ever swung in my life, uh, the SSK and the Speed. This is normal and just because of that, it's gonna be a lot more realistic for most people. That's going in number one, definitely. All right, folks, it's time to shake up this whole thing a little bit with the Vapor, a bat that has put up very high exit velocity for us before. I think this is one of the early favorites going in. The sweet spot is not friendly, the swing weight is not friendly, but this can hit the ball freaking far, bro. So here we go. The Louisville Slugger Vapor, 99 bucks. Got it, I think I just got it on their website. Here we go. Ooh, heavy. And another just no taper, man. It's like they don't want you to buy these. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, go ball. Oh, very top of the wall, kind of a liner. All right. Dude, you don't have to swing hard on this. The barrel just whips. It's like the heaviest 271 I've ever swung. <laughs> this actually feels a lot more like a normal bat where those like all feel quirky or like cheap in some way either way too heavy or a super small sweet spot or both yeah. like the speed this actually feels like a normal one piece bb core it's just kind of heavy go ball ah no all right i gotta hit a vapor nuke there it is there it is Yes, sir. That's a deep one. All right, so ranking this, I feel like the ball actually bounces off the barrel the best on this. It's just really heavy. That taper's awful, and there's just no love towards the hands. If you get it out there, though, I think this is the hottest bat out of all of them. Again, though, I just think the F5 is the most realistic bat. That is a good grip, a good taper, and it's nice and light swinging, but I would rather have this over the clone. It's a little bit lighter than the clone, and I think it just hits the ball a lot harder. I still got the F5, though, in my one hole. That's actually a normal swinging bat. All right, then moving on to a very notable bat. Actually, a lot of guys use this. Probably the most popular bat in this whole matchup here, the String King Metal Pro. It's It did some damage in One Piece Bat Madness, honestly. Like, this is a respectable, good bat. I do expect this to have the biggest, most forgiving barrel out of all of these, but we'll see here. Yep. Like, that just feels like the Goods One Piece or the Omaha. Like, the, that's a normal, like, good One Piece right there. Get that easy. Yeah, it's not like way too heavy. Go ball. No way. Ah, oh, too far right. Ah, oh. oh, very top of the wall. It's peppered. This actually feels like a $200, $300 one piece. Uh, it has like a decent smooth taper right here, a big sweet spot, kind of heavy swinging, but this is like a good power hitting one piece. Buddy, that was launched. Oh yeah, 
clearly the furthest one. Wow. All right, so this actually feels like something that would compete in like a real BB core contest. Like this is a good, good bat. Gotta put this number one, bro. All those other bats have one thing wrong with them. That's like, as a power hitting bat, that checks out. That's a solid bat, nothing to complain about there. All right, moving on to the B20 Hot Metal from Mizuno. Should be very similar to this year's, but this one just did not sell well. They have plenty left. I found this for $100. Let's see how it does here. Oh, that's a hot bat. That feels a lot like the String King. Oh, get out, that's gone. Scoreboard, don't hit a car, bro, come on. Ah, just short. It didn't really go as far as I was expecting though, huh? A lot like the String King. That's really good, that was hammered, wow. Yeah, another just very solid, like I could see a college player using this and liking it, honestly. Gosh, that's good too. All right, that's a really good bat. Kind of a tough spot here. One, two, or three. So the F5 was lighter. They, okay, so this was so close to the String King, honestly. I think they would score like really similar on the bat bro scale. If anything, this just had less barrel, but it was a tiny bit lighter. They both have good power. Here's where my head's at. All right, so with these $100 bats, the most scarce thing is gonna be a good forgiving barrel. Most of these barrels ring you up bad. They're very tight and unforgiving. The String King's got it. it. It has by far the most forgiving barrel here. And because of that, if you're swinging a one piece, you're probably more of a power guy anyways. Going with the String King in number one, this in number two, again, another really solid bat. This could compete right there with the Goods one piece and the Omaha and all those bats. So, all right, the Rawlings Impact. I've never seen this. I didn't even know this existed until I just recently found it online. It looks a lot just like a 5150, but uh, let's check it out here. I've never seen or heard anything about this thing. Oh, that sounds like a Rawlings. <laughs> that feels so much just like a 5150, man. Oh, the impact going yaya way out, bro. Wow, this might put up some numbers. Okay. What do you say? Not a bad hit there. <laughs> An ambulance just shouted us out. Let's go. <laughs> All right, the impact. So, dude, it's like the same bat as the Mizuno almost. I feel like the Mizuno has a little more butt behind it, though. It has a little bit of a taper. That's a good bat. That's a good bat. This or the F5. The F5, the Vapor, the SSK and the Speed all have something significantly wrong with it. This is another respectable bat. I don't think it beats out the Mizuno or the String King though. Uh, third place, really good bat for hundred bucks, honestly. All right, folks, uh, never swung this. The, I think the original Axe BB Core, the Origin, cop this for so cheap. Uh, I think on Just Bats website, the Axe Origin, just one piece alloy BB core. Let's see what it's got here. Oh, that, that's pretty heavy too. So this feels a lot like the Axe Elite one from last year. Pretty, pretty loggy. Loggy, you like that word? All right, go ball, come on. Ah, short hop. I got that pretty good. So I find with Axe Bats typically, I don't get quite as much power, but my average goes up. I hit for contact really well because this bat really, really encourages you to stay in the zone for a really, really long time, but doesn't necessarily encourage like snap and barrel turn through the zone as much from my experience. I can snap one of those bats a little bit harder, but I stay in the zone and I hit a lot more line drives with this. I just don't think I'm going to win any velo contest with this, honestly. Get out. Axe bat. Yes, sir. 331. <laughs> I just hit so well with it, bro. That's a solid bat. If you like the Axe bat, this is just like last year's Axe Elite 1. This is a good bat. I just don't love the Axe bat that much, but if you do, this is going to be a good bat, so I don't really know where to put it. I think I'm going above the F5, behind the Impact, fourth place. I think that's fair. All right. What is, what is this? <laughs> the M powered 777 power. Uh, we had a viewer, Keith, shout out to you, man. Recommend this thing. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know when it's from, but good Lord, is it heavy, bro. 
Dare I say this is even heavier than the Speed and the SSK. That is a log. I've never seen one of these, but I got it on eBay for $50. So let's try it out. No idea what to expect. Bro, that thing swings me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel anything though, wow. Ooh, this is so heavy. God, I can't get there. I feel like I'm swinging the Aaron Judge bat again. Yeah, yeah that's gotta go, come on. Yeah, yeah way out, let's go. I cannot swing that very hard. There we go. Come on. Woof. Maybe last. I'm putting it no, I'm, The speed was pretty horrible. Uh, I'm putting this between the SSK clone and the Easton speed. Not, not a very big fan, honestly. All right, folks. And last one, probably I would say the most mainstream of all these bats. This is a bat you actually see people use, but apparently it just did not sell very well when it came out. The Easton Fuse 360, not the XL. So in college, you see a bat that looks just like this. Most like, I would say 89% of the time, it's actually not this exact one. You'll see it as a black outline right here. It's the Fuse 360 XL, the end loaded version of this that I thought was actually a really good bat. This is the balance version. They call it speed balance right here. Only I got this for hundred dollars. I don't think it's hundred dollars anymore though. So I've never had a chance to swing the fuse balance yet. So we'll, we'll see here. Oh, that's touched. Come on ball. Ah, all right, that's got some juice, wow. This is also a pretty moderately weighted bat, not too heavy at all. I'd say, these are all pretty damn heavy bats, but I'd say this is probably the second lightest behind uh, the F5 from Ritchie. Oh yeah, go ball. Oh yeah, for a hundred dollars, if you can find this for a hundred dollars, you should probably buy this. Is it? Wow, okay, that's good. That's good. That's a good bat. Why was this $100? <laughs> I got the steal of a lifetime. JTM torn, bro. <laughs> you gonna put that in the one? Undisputed top three right here. The Easton Fuse, the Mizuno Hot Metal, and the String King. JT, you wanna take one hack with each? Sure. All right, I'm gonna need you, man. All right, the Mizuno. Super hot, but not a lot of barrel, man. That buzzes you up pretty good. String King. So much barrel. <laughs> Did, oh, don't hit anything. Come on. Ah, oh, wall ball. That's, see, that's, that is the most barrel out of all these bats. That might be the game changer. It's just a little bit heavy. All right, the fuse. The fuse. I think it's between the the fuse and the string king for the one hole. You have to get it off the end of the bat. It performs super, super well out here. That might go. Didn't, I'm having a hard time figuring this bat out. The barrel makes all sorts of different noises and the ball reacts all sorts of different ways in different spots on the barrel. A lot of the Easton one pieces are like that. The Fuse 360 XL was like that. The B5 was kind of like that. The Alpha was like that. A weird sweet spot. See, that was on the hands. I don't think it's going that far. It's not, but then give me one more. I'll hit it towards the end. We'll see how good of a hitter I am right here. You do one more, hit it towards the end. Too bad it was a line drive, but that ball's peppered, man. This and the String King is pretty close, bro. Just the barrel size on the String King. That's such a pure, solid power hitting bat. I gotta give one to the String King and two to this guy. Even though the Fuse is a really, really comfortable bat to swing, I'm also deducting it a little bit because I don't think you can find that for $100 anymore. JT, I need you to take a couple hacks with those top three. Let the people know what you think. Pretty good barrel. And, come on. Ah. Oh, goal! Yeah, that feels all right. Respectable. Oh, oh wow. See ya, ball. 
That sounds crazy. That was mad and mad and one hard. Let me get one more. That feels pretty good too. It's got it's, barrel, it's man. Definitely a bigger sweet spot. Ooh. Oh, very uh, top of the wall. I just don't know if it has the juice that the strings. I right thought now. I got that okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the barrel's weird, bro. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. I think I got that really good. Wow. That's. Yeah, it's an okay barrel. I just don't think you can find this for a hundred dollars. So That's I, true. I'm not gonna crown it. Sure. I, ain't, I ain't gonna do it. Get out of here. I ain't gonna crown it number one. <laughs> all right. All right, folks, exit velo time. Let's go. Everything hurts a little bit. There we go. Bro, my hands are done. 97.3. Come on. 92. That one already, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, what? 94.1. It's just, man, both of these bats are so heavy. I just can't generate that much bat speed. Come on. 98, baby, let's go. Oh, come on, get a hundred. Come on, ninety-three. Yeah, this is the lightest one by far. Ninety-one point six. Come on. Dude. 96.2 for 353. Outside, 93.6. Oh my gosh, this is gonna win. 100.6! Oh, the freaking vapor, bro! Nine point five for three ninety three. <laughs> That'll be pretty good. Ninety five point eight, yes, sir. Oh, oh man. give me four hundred. Come on, ninety seven point five. Oh, only three fifty. Oh, that's touch. Oh, come on! <laughs> I swear to God, 99.9. <laughs> uh, pretty dang good right there. Come on. Sort of got there. I feel like I'm swinging Babe Ruth's bat. 94.3. Oh, yeah. You gave me a slower one there. Yes! That's really good. I had to guess where the pitch was. 99.3, bro. So with these like ultra heavy BB core bats, if you guess, it's like an MLB The Show. If you guess the pitch and you guess the location and you hit it way out here, way out in front, there's not really any hotter bats out there. Just the rate at which I can catch barrel is so small. <laughs> I guessed it. 89.8, bro. 777 power. 777. Seven, seven. Come on. 98.8. Come on. <laughs> if I guess, bro, I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on. 96.2. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really good. Ah. Uh. 
338. That was lame. <laughs> I guess I kind of got off the hands, but consistent. Good back. Come on, come on, 95.5, 99.9. What, bro? The impact? That'll be pretty good. 98.8. Dude, that barrel's hot. This feels so much just like the 5150. Yeah, I was gonna say. Come on, Impact. 94.9. That's a good showing, dude. Wow. That was inside. Bro, I can get the hands there with this. 92.9. I'm hitting linias with it. I hit so good with this back. 93.5, the v loads are always just low though. I'm just right here and I just hit freaking doubles, man. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, 101. Oh yeah. Woo! Let's go. Felt like perfect barrel. 96.4, that was kind of in between. Yeah, I, I think that's gonna be on the lower end. Oh, that was super high! 99.6! Oh what? So confusing, dude. I can usually guess my exit reloads. I can't with this. Like I you just never know what you're getting. Such a weird barrel, bro. 94.2, see what? All right, fellas, we got our 10 bats here. Now let's go ahead and add them up and crown a winner. So we'll go from last to first. Coming in at 10th place with a very unfortunate two points, we have Boom, the Easton Speed got last in velo testing and got last as my personal preference. It was just honestly really heavy, uh, did not get good velos, had a very small sweet spot and just like no handle taper at all. Not a very comfortable bat to swing. To ninth place, still a pretty overall poor performance with six total points. We have the M-Powered Triple Seven Power. So just because of the sheer brute force and severe end load of this bat, it actually had a semi-decent sweet spot and was able to squeak out a few high velo readings there. It's just so hard to get around, man. This honestly feels like I'm swinging a 34, but it's an inch shorter, which is really not what you want. That's, I think, probably hands down the heaviest BB core I've ever swung in my life. Uh, sounds cool, you don't really feel it on contact, but man, that, that's more like a trainer's bat almost it feels like. And then we actually have a three-way tie for sixth, seventh, and eighth here with the SSK clone, the Marucci F5, and the Axe Origin. All right, so all three of these bats got eight points, still pretty low. The SSK is actually the only one out of the three that got pretty decent exit velos. The F5 and the Axe bat did really well on field, but really weren't lighting up the radar gun very much. The clone was just a little too heavy for me to really do well on field with. And then moving into the five bats that I would actually feel good about potentially using in a game. These ones kind of separated themselves as far as the scoring goes. In fifth place, the fan favorite, Louisville Slugger Vapor. So guys, the Vapor, again, is honestly one of the hottest BB core bats you can get your hands on in terms of exit velo. But I sound like a broken record, exit velo and pop are overrated, guys. There's other things that totally matter. This has no handle taper, it's pretty uncomfortable to swing, it rings you up a lot, a very rigid feel. The sweet spot was pretty small, and this is very, very end loaded. It's a pretty heavy bat, honestly. So because of pure exit velo and power alone, the Vapor has fifth place today. And then these last four especially are all very, very good legit bats. In fourth place, we have the B20 Hot Metal from Mizuno. So this bat was normally, I think like two or $300 and they just had a ton left over. So these are going for really, really cheap now. It's kind of a small sweet spot, definitely a slight end load, but it can hit the ball very hard. It's a very solid feel. You actually see 
uh, quite a few college guys still swinging a bat like this. So definitely a great value for a hundred bucks right there. And then in third place, one of the biggest surprises, honestly, the Rawlings Impact. So with the Impact, if somebody told me, Will, this is a repainted like 2017 or 2016 Rawlings 5150, like I would have believed you if I, if I didn't know any better. This just felt like a slightly smaller sweet spot version of the 5150. I will get to it after this. We'll do some honorable mentions. You can actually find some old 5150s for just about this cheap anyway. So you might want to consider that too. And then these two bats absolutely separated themselves with 19 points and 20 points. The Fuse Project 3 balanced version is going to come in second and the String King Metal Pro. But really guys, these honestly could have tied for first. They had almost identical exit velos. I would say this is just lighter and has a smaller sweet spot. Spot. this is heavier and has a bigger sweet spot so kind of just be wise of what you're going for the only downside i don't think you're gonna be able to find this for 100 bucks anymore like i'm saying uh, so the string king all in all guys i think deserves the crown because you can indeed find it for 100 dollars. that's like it's legit retail price and it's a legitimate very very good power hitters bat so there it is folks one through ten our favorite bats that we bought for $100 or less. And just separating out these top five here, guys, these are all legitimately very good bats that, you know, a good hitter is gonna hit a lot of home runs with these. These all put up very, very impressive velos up there with four and $500 bats these days. So if you are balling on a budget and need to settle for one of these, you will not be sacrificing pop, guys. Honestly, these are very, very good options. What you're really paying for with the more expensive bats, once you get in like that $400, $500 range, is really just a more comfortable swinging bat. Usually they'll have much bigger sweet spots, a lot more forgiving on miss hits, and then also just a lot lighter swinging bats. So it's hard to make an affordable light swinging bat from what I'm seeing. That's why I really liked the Fuse today. That was easy to whip around and it's pretty affordable, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that retailed at like 250 or 300 bucks right off the bat. So guys, with that said, I actually have some honorable mentions as well well that didn't make it in here they're more closer up to the 200 dollars range so we'll throw those in here now so if we're talking more in the range of anything under 200 bucks uh, there's a few more options to consider here up top so really any old omaha anywhere from like 2013 all the way up to 2019 these really haven't changed that much over the course of like that six year period you guys see college guys swing those things like crazy so if you can find an old omaha for 200 bucks or less i'd honestly be all over that those bats last forever and it's similar with the 5150 those bats have all Always been good really trusted by college players this is literally a 2013 this is the 2020 you can find those for very very cheap a lot of the time they last forever really solid power hitting bats great sweet spots and then we have the freaking t man baby this is a uh, korean bb core bat but it's only like 180 bucks if you get it off of ebay that's honestly a legit respectable bat that's not too heavy swinging and then the fuse guys if you can find like a project 3 fuse xl or even like an alpha xl or especially this fuse balance those are really really solid bats that i think you're gonna find some cheapos hanging around there and then i believe the 2020 version of the mizuno b21 hot metal you can find that for very cheap so there you have it, folks. If this video helped you out, we'd appreciate it if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you ever want to help support the Bat Bros, you can go check out our merch over at BaseballBatBros.com. We also have like all of our BB Core and Safe bat rankings over there as well. Go give it a look. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out.